Netflix's feel-good family film, Blue Miracle, about a man in Mexico who tries to save an orphanage by winning a fishing competition, has some bona fide star power with cast members like Dennis Quaid as Marlon Fisherman Captain Wade Malloy and Jimmy Gonzalez, Godzilla, King of the Monsters as orphanage supervisor Omar Venegas. But if you're wondering where you saw the guy who plays local businessman and founder of the black and blue fishing tournament Wayne Bisbee before, you've come to the right place. Wayne is played by actor Bruce McGill, an entertainment industry veteran whose on-screen credits go all the way back to the late 1970s, although he started out as a theatre actor. That means you've probably had multiple chances to have seen him in something familiar. He's had high-caliber guest starring and recurring roles in television shows from American Playhouse and Quantum Leap to The Good Wife, NCIS and Blue Bloods. His movie roles as a prominent supporting actor have included Shallow Hal, The Sum of All Fears, Cinderella Man, Matchstick Men, The Legend of Bagger Vance, Time Cop, Elizabethtown, and Deep Core. In fact, we're hard-pressed over here to limit this list, because he's been in so many productions you might know. Here are just a few of the major roles he's had over the past few decades. One of his very first roles was in National Lampoon's Animal House Universal Pictures It's Been Decades, but McGill's most recognizable role may still be from the 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House, which was a film that cost $2.1 million to make yet grossed $141.6 million, according to the New York Times. The movie featured John Belushi as its breakout star and had a cast that included Kevin Bacon, in his debut role, Tim Matheson, and Donald Sutherland as well. It followed some rowdy frat brothers on their adventures in a raunchy comedy that would come to define the on-screen college experience for many. McGill, who said he was in an unemployment office when he read the script, said that the film taps into that time when your body is grown but you've not yet reached maturity. It wasn't just a universal picture, it was a universal picture. He played the character Daniel Simpson, D-Day, Day, which was originally a role written for Dan Aykroyd, famously performing the William Tell Overture on his windpipe during one scene. Behind the camera, McGill's hotel room was apparently the location of all the parties the cast had. In 1979, McGill reprised the role in a short-lived sitcom that paid him well but was too expensive to shoot. I didn't earn any money on Animal House, and I felt very strongly that, while somebody wrote D-Day, I invented him visually and physically, and I didn't want to pass that on to anybody, because I really liked him. I really liked the character, and I liked the world that he was in, and, it was time. It was time to make a little money, the actor told the AV Club. 